Hello everyone, making a technical video after a long time. So every student of mechanical engineering, aerospace and civil uh, would realize what these equations are. These are basically the stress transformation equations. Problem is that I cannot ever remember these. So I thought that uh, what would be a better way to remember these uh, than to use matrix mu multiplication, which is quite easy and straightforward and very systematic to remember. So the way that we are going to proceed uh, to understand this is uh, and to and to uh, go through the derivations rather quickly is to use symbolic Python in the Jupyter Notebook platform. So first of all, we are going to import the package, import simpy as sim, and then uh, I'm going to define the symbols required to build up the stress matrix. So just to keep things simple at first. I have deliberately kept things absolutely blank to start out with so that students can follow along. So we have this thing sigma xx displayed nicely and we can go ahead and display the other things, the sigma yy and the sigma xy. And I'll display that also. Sorry. Uh, the underscore should not be there. All right. So we have this thing and now we can uh, just build up the stress matrix like this. <coughs> I could have written these things earlier, but I wanted to demonstrate everything live. So here we are. Okay, so we have this matrix and we want to obtain from this these transformations. So uh, let us define a column matrix like this. Now please note that I have used this theta without first defining what theta, theta is and I am going to get an error. Um, so I have to define that this is a matrix but even so I'll get an error. Um, so I'll have to first define an, a theta because by default symbolic Python will not understand what theta is and now it will. So I'll display this thing also. So we have this cos theta sine theta and uh, let's, let's use this. So this thing transpose will look like this just a horizontal version of that column matrix. Uh, but uh, I want to use this, the transpose of this into the stress matrix into the same thing. And let's see what we get out of this. So we get this one element matrix, uh, but we can name this and make it more systematic. Uh, so sigma xx transformed will be this and uh, I can also expand this out. So what I'll do is I'll take the uh, okay let take the zeroth element out of this and then expand it out. Let's see if this thing works and then I'll display this also. Um, Sorry, there should be a bracket here. Okay, so this is my sigma xx and if you compare this expression with uh, this one here, uh, you'll see that matches. So sigma xs cos square theta plus twice sigma xy sine theta cos theta sigma yy sine square theta. That's exactly the same thing here. So this seems pretty easy enough. Uh, it's easy enough to remember also using this CS matrix and we can have similarly the, uh, the sigma xy version of this. So if I define it like uh, sim dot matrix, sim dot cos, sim dot pi by two plus theta comma sim dot sine, sim dot pi by two plus 
theta. So I'm making a column matrix out of theta plus pi by 2. And let's display this thing also. So minus sine theta cos theta and all that I'll do for the sigma xy transformed is to write this as uh, so I'll, I'll just repeat the same thing over here that I had written here except I'll substitute the second one with a CSA matrix this one let's see if this thing has worked so we have the exact same thing okay so you can just compare this with the earlier version so sigma xy cos square theta minus sine square theta so we do have this sigma xy cos square theta minus sine square theta and then we have this minus of sigma xx minus sigma yy sine theta cos theta we have that term here the first term and the last terms so this was easy enough but i want to make this even more systematic so what i'll do is i'll use the rotation matrix for this this is slightly uh, at a higher level compared to undergraduate syllabus but I think in some places they do teach it at least here at IIT Kharagpur I do teach it in my class so uh, or at least I refer to it and this is also taught in the first year linear algebra uh, courses of engineering mathematics so the, ma and the rotation matrix will be defined like this so this is cos theta sine theta and the second row will be minus sine theta, if I can spell correctly. And let's display this. So we have cos theta sine theta minus sine theta cos theta. I'm sure it will be familiar to quite a few students. Now, the way we can proceed with the stress transformation in one shot, in one line, is to do simply this. So sigma transformed or stress transformed um, or stress matrix uh, transformed will be equal to Q times the stress matrix which we had defined earlier that one the stress matrix <coughs> times Q transpose. So if we display this thing, we're going to get all these terms in one shot. So the first uh, row, first column is the sigma xx. The first row, second column is the sigma xy. And the second row, second column is the sigma yy, which by the way, we had not derived earlier. Uh, we can make this thing look a little bit prettier by trying to expand. Uh, let's see if that works. So right, so we have these uh, prettier looking expressions and then we can individually extract out the sigma uh, the, the sigma xx dash is equal to stress matrix transformed 0 comma 0 sigma xy dash is equal to 0 comma 1 and sigma yy dash is equal to uh, stress matrix transformed uh, this thing and then I'll just display all of them together sorry spelling mistake all right so in one shot basically in these input cell numbers 17 or uh, input cell numbers 15 17 and 19 uh, I have obtained my answers okay so this is much easier to remember all that I really have to remember is how this rotation matrix is set up cos theta sine theta minus sine theta cos theta and uh, I can obtain all the expressions in one go. I don't have to go for any kind of mental hacks to remember these things. Okay, and by the way, 
these things, uh, this, this formula for stress transformation, it works also in three dimensions, although here I have just uh, demonstrated it for two dimensions. All right, that's it. I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much.